terms of preparing me for graduate school, uh, I feel that UMBC has helped me get the type of research experiences that, that would make me competitive. Since I knew I wanted a career in research, I, I, I knew that early on I would have to have that type of uh, early uh, exposure to scientific research. And I think the type of hypothesis-driven research project, projects given to undergraduates early on um, would help me develop into a successful scientist um, and a potential candidate for graduate school. It's not just um, you know, getting in the lab and just doing work, it's about having the type of hypothesis-driven projects as an undergraduate, whether it's uh, organic chemistry with Dr. Perks, who knows every student's first and last name, they've gone to class and whatever, uh, to uh, contemporary Jewish history with Dr. Katz. Um, you know, the teachers, it's very clear that the teachers care a lot about their students. So it's interesting, my free time is still related to research in that Dr. Summers, uh, my first research mentor here, uh, actually got me interested in mountain biking. So I, I do a good a bit of mountain biking. So there's a great uh, mountain bike entry right off 195. Um, but you know, my, my favorite place on campus probably to, to study or just read would probably be the public policy building. It's just a beautiful building. Beyond just looking at um, UMBC's website and you know, all the amazing quotes that other people say about UMC. I, I, would, I would urge students to ask graduating seniors um, uh, to see if they're actually passionate about what they're going to go on to do in the future.